Okay. So the Zoya is explaining Anche Koyach and that the Posse calls them Kriye Moyed, right? They, they, this whole Kumlif Moshe, they rose up before Moshe, the people of Koyach, his whole band, men of distinction, Kriye Moyed. And what does Kriye Moyed mean? It's interesting, again, that Rashi says nothing, but uh, the Mephorashim bring it means they summon people to meetings because they are the judges and the heads, or Kriye Moyed, they're summoned to the Oyal Moyed. That the Zoyar or the Zoyar, as we're going to see, Moyed goes on Yomtev. Moyed goes on Yomtev, and Kriye Moyed means that on Yom Tif, they summon forth, this is the bottom line, on Yom Tif, there's a summoning forth of the level of Kodesh on these holy days. And what is this level of Kodesh? It's on three levels. Chochmah Datzilis that causes the fusion, the union of of Zohar and Malchus, which happens Shabbos and Yontif on two different levels we'll get into in a moment. Then there's Malchus, which is also so called Kodesh, which causes a union. She summons, calling forth. Again, what's called forth is the level of Kodesh. So Malchus is Mashpi on her legions. Malchus Datzil is her legions in Bia, which are Neshomis and Malachim causing a giloi to them. And then finally, a third incarnation are the leaders in this world who also on soul on Shabbos and Yom Tif, cause about a revelation of other course here in the world. That's the general idea. Now, I'm going to just, if you can follow along, I'm going to just read this paragraph, the first opening paragraph of the Maimur in English. Good morning, Yossi. Good morning. So we are kumulif neimoyishe kriye moy. So the Zoya notes that the word kriye is missing a yud. It's kufresh aleph yud, and it read, and it is kufresh yud aleph yud. At the end, the Maim is going to say because Kairach's people were missing bittel, which was their whole war with Moshe felt it's missing the bittle and therefore unity. Therefore, Yud is missing. But that's at the end. So let's go through this Zoya. So, so what is the meaning of all of this? So the Zoya says the Malchus of the Ade, the lower kingdom is similar to the upper kingdom. So by that he means as it emerges in the Zoya, two things. The upper Malchus no, it would, I'm sorry, it would mean one thing then. That Ma, what happens, as Jose goes on to say, on Yom Tif, that Malchus Datzilis is Mashpi and Bia, so also in the earthly the kingdom down here, Man, the Rabbana, which are, the, the Zoya doesn't say this, but that's the implication, they are royalty, Malchus, Man, Malke Rabbana, they are Mashpia, Elikos Lamata. So the earthly kingdom is similar to the heavenly kingdom. So what is the secret? So the meaning is as follows, that these 10 spheres, now, which 10 spheres are we talking about? The 10 spheres, the ban. The, the 10 spheres, the ban, mean zo. That's what it means, mashpia. And they are rooted where in the holy name? What's the holy name? Shema. What this means is that Shema is mevarer, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We try we retrace. Shemban is Shemban is Malchus. Shema is the Mashpia. So again, let's start again. 
So these ten spheres, as they are in Shemban, united with the holy name, which is Shema Zo, the Mashpia. So this is the this is the Yichud of Mashpia Makabel Zo and Malchus. As he says in the bracket that Shema is Mevarer Shemban and become one. So this unity is affected because they draw on the level of Kaidish. And what's that? Chachma. And that's the meaning that we say about Yom Tif. Yom Tif is called Mikroi Kaidish, which means when you call, you summon. It's a day when the level of Kodesh, of holiness, is drawn down, affecting the unity between Zo and Malchus, or Shem Ma, which is Zo, and Malchus Shem Ban. So there's a unity in Atzilus that is affected by Shabbos and Yom Tov. And when is that, says the Zoya? Moyet, when is the Mikrei Kodesh? On Moed, on these on, on the times when there's Moed in the world, which means Shabbos and Yom Tov. In the brackets, he adds, there's a difference. That Shabbos, what's revealed is the Atzmis of Moed of Abba in Zor. And in Yom Tov, it is Bina. But in Bina, Kodesh always goes on Chachma. So it has to be Kodesh, it has to be Chachma. So in Bina, it's the Nehi, the lower levels of Chachma that are invested in Bina. Overall, it's Tamshacha of Chachma that is revealed, which is the level of Kodesh on Shabbos and Yom Tev. So, kind of putting together Mikrei Kodesh and Kriei Moyed. Moyed refers to the, the two words Mikrei, Kriei, Mikrei. So the two words are put together by the Zoyha, namely that on Yom Tov is Hamshach of Kodesh. Shabbos and Yom Tov is Hamshach of Kodesh. Are we clear? Is that clear? So Shabbos and Yom Tov is the Yichud of Shema and Shemban, Zo and Malchus, Mashbi and Mekabel. How is the Yichud affected by drawing on the level of Kodesh? And the Pratius, Shabbos is, is, is Atzmi, is of Chachma, and Yom Tov is Chachma as it's invested in Bina. Ema Bon Smecha, Yom Tov is Halo, so it's Bina. Clear? So far. So till now we're speaking about what? Oh, so there is three levels, as I said before. It is on three planes. So when the Zoya says, that paralleling this yichud is also a lower yichud. So this yichud is an atzilus. So paralleling this is a yichud also in the lower kodesh, the mash, a lower mashpia, which is also called kodesh. Who is this lower mashpia? This is Malchus itself. Malchus itself is called kodesh tato. And we see this, yeah, it's in brackets, interestingly, the connection to Chachma, Chachma Shloyme. Shloyme HaMelech, and yet he's des described as Chachma. As we said yesterday, Chachma Tata, that Malchus and Chachma both share in common the Nekudah of Bittl. And Adar Abba, the Bittl of Malchus is even greater. Then he writes, so now, in the same way that there's the Yichud, there's the Amshach of, of the higher Kodesh, which is Chachma. Affecting this unity in Atzilus of Zon, Atzilus of Shemban, and Shemban. So too, the lower Chachma, which is Malchus, is Mashpia, in the words of the Zoya, she summons, this is the Kriye, this is the Amshach, the summoning, calling. Of her legions. What are her legions? What are the legions of Malchus? In Bia, it's the Shambas, Malach and the Bia. And she crowns them and she elevates them. So all these legions are all summoned, as it were, to be crowned with this lower level of Kodesh, which is Malchus Datsilis, 
at the time when there's Yom Tov in the world, meaning that on Shabbos and Yom Tov, there's a Toys with Erin Giloy from Machos Datsilos, just like there's a Toys with Erin Giloy in Zohar, through Chachma Ilo. Third level, the same parallel, I'm translating directly, Kegavna, and, and paralleling just, just like that, just like that, that these uh, legions exist above and experience this unity on Shabbos and Yom Tov, so too there exists the leaders of the people corresponding to that down here. And they are called the Kriye Moyed. So they summon the Elikus, Kodesh, Moyed at these appointed times into the world. But since this is a lower, the lowest incarnation, this is what the Zoya says, it's called Kriya Moed without a Yud. But the Zoya concludes it's with greater Shlemus. That has to be explained. I know the Maimah will, and the Maimah is missing because it's missing a Yud because they lacked Bittl. One of the first him say, Missing a yud because Kairach and Shekairach were not faithful to the Seres Adibras completely in their rebellion. So it's a chsoran. But here he says, Beshleim Yatir, it could be his hinting, is explained at Glentic Chsidus that Kairach is the Indian of Mispale uh, Kairach, it says in Noim Alimach, it's a few places that Chsidus quotes him from Pelish Svarim. And here, all the memorim of, of uh, Kairach are based on a verse from the name Elimelech, the Elimelech Mel- Lizensk, the name Elimelech, that he says, Vispale Kairach, this is what he was doing, was affirming the second day of creation, when Abish divided, Kairach means division, Korcha is an is a empty space on the head, a bold space, the hair on each side, in the laws of Tzeraz. See, so he, he affirmed the division. So the whole Asbari Chsidus, that, uh, that, that's part of the Kavana. The Kavana is, there should be division. But he stopped there. The Kavana is that in the division should be the deeper unity. So that could be the Hinti, B'Shleim Miyat in the end, so the Tshuva of Bnei Kerech, etc. And Kerech himself at the end, before, when Mashiach comes. Um, that there will be then the ultimate unity. I'm just venturing uh, a guess. But upon him, the summary is that we are talking about here a unity on three levels, Atzilus, from as a result of the Ashpa, the Gili of Kodesh Elyon, which is Chachma. Then there's the Gili, the Amshacha, the unity that happens in Bia as a result of the Gili of Malchus, the Atzilus. And then there's the, the, uh, the leaders, the Kriya Moed Lamato, that bring unity to Cloud Yisrael. And this is all done in these special times of Shabbos and Yom Tov. Okay, we're clear? Yeah? Now, Mavar HaTzemach Tzedek. Mavar HaTzemach Tzedek, Shetoichen Maim HaRazayr Hu Levayr. The Tzemach Tzedek explains that the, 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 the content of this statement in the Zohar is all to explain why the leaders of the generation are called those who summon at appointed times. That the earthly kingdom is parallels the heavenly kingdom. And that is Hanogas Oilimus Yadayamidus Datsilus. So the world is conducted to the Midas of Atzilus, Shehei Mani Kroim Kriyemoyed, in general. The Midas of Atzilus, we're getting more detail now, are called Kriyemoyed. Okay, let's go further. Okmoyki in Ashpoa, in Malchut Atzilus, that's one thing, in Atzilus. So they're called Kriye Moyed, goes in the middle of Atzilus. That's the first Yichud. Kamoikin Ashpo, me Machud Atzilus de Bia. And like with Ashpo, Machud Atzilus de Bia, he had the Yudbez Malochim Machan Ishchina. 
It's through the 12 malachim of the Machani Shkinas, explained it, the four Machanas, which parallel the four Machanas, the Matavachin Yud Beishvatim, and the 12 Shvatim, Shehei Malachim, and the Shomis, Ayyus, El Yun, these are the lofty Malachis and Malachim and the Shomis. So Machud Atilis is Mashpia in and through the Malachim and the Shomis. Shehei Mekabla Mashpat Chila. They get the Ashpah first, then it's drawn down lower into greater fragments and details in Bia. But first, that's what the Zayu says, she summons her legions. Machad Atila summons her legions. Malachim and the Shamas is explaining what that is, that that's the first agency by which they get the Ashpah, and through them, the Ashpah and the lower levels of Bia. They are the higher levels of Bia. The higher neshamas, bechal neshamas, ayitzira, v'derachlal, and for our generation, asiyah with asiyah, machas the machas the asiyah. So neshamas abriya, neshamas of the tanoim and amaroim, and the higher malachim. So they're the first ones to be kabel, the hashpa of of the low level of kodesh of malchus, datzilus melech shloimay, and through them the hashpa lemat. That's the second level. But the Gmosim Lamata Bilam has us, so paralleling this is down here in Roshi Aida, the heads of the of the community. That's the Malchus down here. Shayodam Han Hogas Haida, through which they conduct the community. Shikachot and Mashpia to them and unite them. That's how it should be. Shikacho Seda Ashbos El Inkus and Shamas Israel. And this is how Nisham, uh, how the course is drawn down to Nishamas Yisrael, Shimshach Tchila Nishamas Klolius. Just like we saw that Malchus is Mashbia first to the higher Nisham, Malchus Datsilis is Mashbia first to the higher Nishamas and Malachim, and from there to the lower Nishamas of Yitzid and Asiyah. The same also here. That the course first comes to Nishamas Klolius, to the more general Nishamas. But that he means there's the Nishama. Clearly, is the one Nisham of Meshach Rabbeinu in every, in every generation. There's also the 70 elders, the heads of the tribes, etc. And they are relative Nisham as for their for their communities, their tribes. They, they're, they're also therefore called Kriyei Moyed. He doesn't go to the Pratim of that he says in the Zoya. This happens on Shabbos and Yom Tif. That's the Moyed. And create Im, implies seems two things that they are a summoning the higher levels of the course, the Kodesh, into the world on Mayed, and create they're also summoning the people, they're uniting the people. It's, it's all very open ended, so it seems implied in create Mayed is these two in in summary. Create they're calling upon the Mamshech and Begala a higher Indian through them. And Kriye, they are therefore calling together and summoning and effecting a unity of the Shambhas, the Yidin, the Mata. So this Kriye Moid is a model that appears on all three levels. In Atzilus, in Bia, and then the Elam Hazer. In Atzilus is Amshach of Chochmet Atzilus. In, in, in Bia is in the Shambha of Malchus Atzilus. And in the Ilam Hazah is the Amshach of Alikos through the Kriye Moye, the Mamal Karabon of the sages. Yeah, so Malchus and Ashpa on three levels, all Kodesh. Bakshenichta, but in our case, it's written Kriye Chosa Yud behind the Davke Badas Kirach. In the case of the Adas Kirach, it's missing the Yud. Shenech etzem ayud, they're missing a yud. Shezel mitzad hedra bittel, because they lacked bittel. So they, their, their position was in the end they abused it because they lacked bittel. So let's now, now see further in the Maimer the explanation. Yeah. Moisir the Vayir, the Tzemach said, it goes on to explain. Inyan ha Moyed, the Shabbos a Yom Tov. So, what is the Inyan of Moyed, which refers to Shabbos a Yom Tov, as the Zoya said? Shabbay Nimshach Moyed in Davo, Bezo. 
So what's happening? The Zohar is saying, that's the Hamshacha, Kriye Mayed. On these appointed days, there's the summoning of the level of Kodesh. There's a Zohar made the association that Yom Tov is called Mikroi Kodesh. Yeah, the Zohar made their connection. And Kodesh goes on, on Chachma. Kodesh means removed, and that's Chachma. Chachma is removed from all the other spheres in terms of its, its bitl to, to the Mokir, so it's called Kodesh. So what's the question? So so nimshach in The first, the first level of unity is damshocha of meichin in zor. Right, you're not saying the unity of zor malchos. It's also implied there because that's the the unity of shem ban and shem ma. But upon him, it means malchos as it's part of atzilus that mashpia in in uh, in bia. So. The first giloy is I'm shach of meichin dava in za. That's the kodesh that's drawn into za on Shabbos and Yom Tov. Here in the moving. So what's the question? Shach shach may have all the za. He betmidus. This is always happening. That's the whole seder shtalshelus. That there's the shach of. Of Zo in in uh, of 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 Chachma Bina in Zo. I feel mitzad edish talshalus. Lachas kam v'kam al the avoid and so you try avoid that we elicit not just Shabbos and Yom Tov. We elicit such a hamshacha. So what is unique? What is happening on Shabbos and Yom Tov? Questions clear? Yeah. Achayim in hosh be Shabbos and Yom Tov nimshach teis v'is oir me avol Zo. To talk it true. The Mitzad Ishtalshalos, there is this Hamshacha, that's how Ishtalshalos works. This, the Oyer is Il of Olol, is drawn from Meichen into, into Midas, etc. That's what Ishtalshalos is. And through Avoide, we Mamshech even more. But Shabbos and Yom Tev is Teisvis Oyer. As he goes on to explain, Acha Teisvis Meruba Harbelin Ketz, so much so that what's drawn on Shabbos and Yom Tev is far more immeasurably so, without end, a la kitzvah than the determined amount, the set amount, a mochrachas, which is necessary, that ishtal shalik should exist and be animated and sustained. Far beyond that is revealed when on Shabbos and Yom Tev. This comes from Keser. This was not mentioned explicitly in the Zoya. But it's implied. Kiedush call he suffers oil chodash from the agents of Baruchu. If we're talking in oil chodash, a radical new revelation from the Ebrister, while you're there, Keser, it draws on Keser, which is this transcendent level. But is it a radical new? Is, is it a radical new uh, uh, Indian? We're saying it happens all the time. Every Shabbos and Yom. question. Yeah. Every Shabbos and Yom. No, but we're saying this, this Hamshacha into Zah of, of Ava, it happens all the time. We're saying rather on Shabbos Yom Tov, it's more. So how is it a radical new Indian? Because Keser, just a, a Gili of Keser. A Gili of Keser. So what's the difference between that and, the, and all the time or through Avaida? That is, I don't know. What, what I, I don't know in between level what Avaida does because I don't know I don't know but just Bechlal what does it mean a gilly of Keser we know that Keser means what, what's the parallel you help me here what's the what's Keser Benefesh Adam Ratzin Ratzin so it means on, so during the week as it were Ishtal is there the, the, the edifice is there creation is there on Shabbos and Yom Tev, they wish to reveal his desire for creation. How much, how much it's, how much it means to him, how important it is. Or in other words, in other words, during the week, Kishtal Shalos is it's like a means for an end. On Shabbos, that's what 
but the end isn't revealed. What's this, what it is, is for. Beautiful, there's a creation, but what's it for? The Shabbos Yom reveals what's it for because he has a desire, did of the a connection to a yid, etc. So it's the day of desire. So that's been our Shabbos and Yom a person, they wish to reveal his desire, and therefore the it's a day of desire. So during the week, we're busy building and creating and doing. That's Yishtal Shalos. What's it all for? He worked out a whole week to put bread on the table and to make Shabbos and not to sit with your family and enjoy them. That's the whole kavon of the whole toil of the week. That's what's revealed on Shabbos and Yom Tov. And that's Bein Aruch. You're present. You're present on Shabbos and Yom Tov and your engagement with wife and children, etc. is on a whole new level than during the week where it's functional. Go, come, school, work. But now, no one's going, no one's coming. Now you're together and you're connecting and enjoying each other. That's Shabbos and Yom Tov. That's the Ebesh to reveal. That's Keser. Reveals this whole thing. Yishtal is for what? Because it's his desire to have a connection with us. Yeah. Yeah. To answer your question, see, yes. Thank you for asking. The Chayda Avayda is certainly Yom Tev. Yom Tev is created by Bezdin. Shabbos is Mekash of a kind. Shabbos happens anyway. But Yom Tev is the term by Bezdin. So what makes Shabbos and Yom Tev this day of desire? Because of a Yitz Avayda during the week. If there's no Yid working during the week and doing Tehra Mitzvahs, then come Shabbos and Yom Tev is an empty house. It's a sad place. The saddest place of the home, God forbid, of a broken home is Dafke Shabbos and Yom Tov. When the family would be together, it's not. So the Avoid is what creates all of that. L'chayr, l'chayr. And let's see the, let's see the words of the Maimir. Ki Yadua, yeah. And this is what the Zoya said. What he has the place is by the number. I don't see a number. There's no number. It's halfway through his base. There's no Mar six till the end. They're all, Zaminin means both prepared and invited. More connected to, that's a general idea, from a place that's called Kaidesh. Who's, who's all? Shalos is all now uh, connected to a place which is called Kodesh Kinyakdusha Bekesa. The true union of Kodesh is Kesa. He said before, it's what? It is Chachma. It's relatively speaking, but the true transcendence is Kesa. And he goes on to explain, this is not the Tzemach Tzedek, Hata, oh. Okay, it's going to be similar to what we said, in different places completely. So why is this revealed, the Kesa, the Rats and the Elyon, Dafke Shabbos and Yom Tavapi Moshul and Melech Bosov Adom. The Zoya says that earthly kingship is a reflection of heavenly kingship. So what, what's the Indian? It's the same thing he's saying, but now the marshal of Melech and the people. Usually the king sits locked in his cheder, in his chamber, in the chamber, in the palace, no one sees him. Of course, it's his name. His name is called upon them. Their whole relationship is there is a king, he issues edicts, and the people are busy building the country. But they have no relationship with him. But his essence is not revealed normally. And again, they're busy in, the, in, in doing what they have to do. That's the weekday. But a time of Simcha, when the king is victorious, that Shabbos Yom Shukolitoiv, the Birurim are over. We fixed everything. Not building the country. Now is the time to enjoy the country, to enjoy the home. 
as a Isis Suda the sort of Avod of Mizgala Lame. So when there's a victory, right? So then he's he uh, he makes a Suda for his for his ministers and his servants, and he's revealed to them. And that's the most of Nimshal Lamaila, and the Nimshal is Lamaila Shaud Vachai Sim Shbachola Ulamas. Now we get a very important detail from this marshal, and that is that the highest that is drawn down in all the worlds during the week, because the name, of course, is a, is a mere reflection of the person. What that means is that creation is a means for an end. David says, but since desire is not in creation itself. Again, what do you want a home for? You're not, you want a building. You want to live there with your soulmates. So the home itself, per se, without the soulmates, is just Shmei It's a means for an end. But on Shabbos, not Shmei, that's, that's the, they only know the king by name. They don't see him. His name is called upon him. It's called the country bears his name. They are the soldiers of him, of such and such a king, the servants of such and such a king. And that's the connection. They don't see him. They just bear, wear his uniform. They wear his insignia. That's the Suda where he's invited to and the king shows his pleasure and there's a connection to him. And this is because of the victory. What's the victory? That the world has been refined. That's why there's no bitter on Shabbos. This is created. That's kind of a question. It's still our Avoida that, that affects this. It's our Avoida that elicits the, the, uh, that this Hamshach of Kesa. It wouldn't happen without the Avoida. That's the critical part. What's the Avoida? Is the Avoida said Berurim? Commissioner Kosa, the last year says the Shabbos, we have to make Shabbos. What do we do? What do we do? Shabbos. Shabbos happens by itself, but it doesn't. It's Misha Torah, Be'er of Shabbos. We have to, it, Shabbos happens to the Avedah Seberudim during the week. And then it's Adzeh, Nase, Hamshach, Astatius, Eib, Bechina Sakesa, the Eibish says, so reveals his love and desire for us. That's the taste of Eib from Kesa as a result of us connecting and serving and making this world a Dir B'dachtonim by which we are revealing our innate and deepest connection to him. Okay? So we're somewhat clear, friends.